What's up guys, this is Freakish Workshop and welcome to Phonecrafting 101. I've been a cosplayer since about 2018. These are just a few of the cosplays that I've made out of foam. I am by no means a master foam crafter, however, I do know a few things. And what I do know, I offer to you in this series. I'm going to take you from the very beginning, tools and materials, to the very end, painting and finishing a foam project. Along the way, I will be providing tips and tricks on how to up your foam crafting game, or just simply teaching you the art of foam crafting. Regardless of where you're at, welcome, let's get crafting. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Foam Crafting 101. Today we're talking about materials, because to foam craft, you kind of need foam to craft. Anyway, the phone crafting materials that I use actually vary, which is why I'm making a whole video about it. But before we begin, I just want to make it very, very clear. No one is paying me to talk about these products or where I find them. This is simply where I find them, and hopefully they give you a clue as to where you can find some for yourself. Now that we got the legalities out of the way, let's get going. Now, phone comes in a variety of densities. However, what kinds do I use? I'm so glad you asked. I use <laughs> I use one millimeter foam for detail work. I use five millimeter foam for most of the projects that I do as it gives a great body. Uh, lastly, I use the floor mats that I was telling you about. Now, the second thing that you should pay attention to is density. What is density? It is simply how stiff the piece of foam that you're working with is going to be. The stiffer the foam, the sharper the blade you are going to need, but the nicer the cut, and usually the more structure the foam will provide you. Now, uh, craft stores tend to have really decent foam densities. Uh, they're pretty stiff. Most craft stores will have at least one or five millimeter. At least that's my experience. Where you get thicker foams usually comes at home hardware places or even places like Walmart. You're going to look for these foam mats for garages or basements that have these puzzle piece ends to them, but they are fantastic resources for seven millimeter foam as well as high density foam. Now, high density tends to be a bit more expensive, so you do have to take that into consideration. However, don't let high density or a price scare you away. Find what's accessible and find what you're more comfortable using and stick to that. I found a great resource on Amazon that allows you to order multiple thicknesses in both white and black foam. I'm going to put the link to that uh, down below. This company is not paying me to promote them. However, I've just found it's really easy to go to one link and one source to get my foam. And the foam density is fantastic. It's really easy to work with. So, you know, take that as you will. <laughs> Now, the fourth kind of foam you're going to encounter is this. Foam clay it is exactly what you think it is. It is this kind of gooey, mushy uh, material that then you put down sort of like paper mache onto foam, or you can even uh, sculpt with it. Uh, and when it dries, it turns into a EVA craft foam material that you can then cut and sand away. This is a fantastic resource. However, it does tend to be priced a little higher. If you find a really cheap version of it, I say try it, um, but I definitely don't see it as a fundamental for foam crafting. It's a fantastic addition or add-on or level up material. So, up to you. Now, one more thing that I recommend using, it is very similar to foam clay. I call it mud mud. Mud, mud. mud mud kind of acts like foam clay. It's a one to one ratio, so equal amount to equal amount of mod podge or like craft sealer, craft paint and wall spackle. Uh, it's that kind of pink stuff that you can find at home hardware stores. So again, one to one, you mix it until it becomes something like this, a toothpaste type consistency specifically with these two mediums. So if you need to add a little bit more spackle, go for it. Uh, but what you're looking for is a toothpaste consistency. Once you get that kind of consistency, you can paint it or lather it onto your projects. Once it dries in two to four hours, depending on how thick you apply it, you can then sand it down. And it's also semi-flexible because of the Mod Podge. Mod Mud is an incredibly easy to use, easy to make product to use in place of foam clay. Now, the recipe is not mine. Uh, I My dad is responsible for creating this masterpiece. So thank you, dad, for that. Uh, anyways, Mod Mud, now you guys know how to make it. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Go ahead and try it. Another kind of foam that I use is foam board, in particular this kind that I found at my dollar store. It's kind of hard to see, so I hope you, I'm going to see if I can do this, but basically it's this sort of paper outside, and then it's this really, really, really low density foam inside. It's kind of this 
science fair poster board stuff. What I use this for is creating larger items that are hollow inside and I need really, really light. For example, this guy. This thing is absolutely massive. Uh, it's something like almost three feet long, but it's entirely hollow. This entire thing is made out of foam core on the center with a few uh, structural beams kind of going across, but otherwise it, it is a mixture of five millimeter foam and one millimeter foam to bulk out the detail. But like I said, the foam board allows me to create a very large costume piece uh, that is relatively light and easy to hold. So that's why I use foam core foam board for. It usually comes pretty cheap as well, so bonus. And that's everything. Those are my fundamental materials of foam crafting. Again, this is not a you need to buy these list. This is a this is what I use list. Maybe this will help you list. Uh, hopefully it gives you a grocery list or at least a roadmap into something to look into. What you have access to and what you feel comfortable using, of course, always is what you should use. Thanks again for popping in. Happy crafting. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more cosplay content.